Yulophone is another Chinese phone maker that aims to produce phones that offer a lot of value for the price. The T1 is one of the latest company's offers that has great specs that are packed into an all-metal body. My name is Linus, stay tuned. Just before we start, the phone costs less than $200 US. If you are interested, check out the video description for all the links, including Banggood's anniversary mega sale event, discount codes, camera samples, and more. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and some extras include a micro USB to USB Type-C adapter, a screen protector, a phone holder, and a high-quality fall leather case, which actually looks nice in practice. I think that one of the key selling points of the Yulophone T1 is an all-metal design and excellent build quality. The phone does not look exceptional as we've seen this design before, but it still looks great, the buttons are high quality, and the phone feels comfortable in the hand due to rounded edges on the back. As far as size of the device, we are looking at a standard 5.5-inch display phone. The 1080p resolution assures that the screen is sharp and vibrant, but it could be slightly brighter for outer use. We have customizable on-screen navigation keys, a beefy 13MP front-firing camera, LED notification light, and LED flash for night selfies. I found the fingerprint scanner to be accurate and it can unlock the phone straight from the standby mode with any issues. However, the display could light up a lot faster. The home button is programmable so you can use it for navigating through the UI without using the on-screen navigation keys. One of the highlights of this phone is a dual camera setup that consists of one 16 megapixel shooter and another 5 megapixel sensor, which is used to take pictures with that bokeh effect. As far as specifications go, we are looking at a pretty powerful package that includes an octa-core Helio P25 chipset, 64 gigabytes of expandable storage, and 6 gigs of RAM. The gaming performance is near excellent. You can play any 3D games at the highest graphic settings without any issues, and the phone does not get very hot while gaming either. As far as day-to-day -day performance, almost stock Android 7.0 user interface assures that the phone is usually fast and fluid. We have some extra features to play with. Just to name a few, you can change the colors of the LED notification light or use some gesture controls that work pretty well, but sometimes the phone is kind of slow to respond to your gesture. There is also a built-in screen recorder, so you don't need to use any third-party apps. As far as daylight image quality, I expected better results considering the fact that there is a dual camera setup. Sure, you can take some good looking pictures, but I would love to see some more detail, sharpness, and the dynamic range adjustment is not always accurate. On the other hand, the portrait mode is quite good for a budget phone. The images will look just great on social media, but there may be some artifacts going on. Also, some of the shots could be more detailed. As for low-light picture quality, it is decent but not really impressive like on most of the sub-$200 phones. The selfies look great as the pictures are quite detailed. Sure, they could be a little bit sharper, but I think the pictures will look just fine on social media. A front-facing LED flash is actually powerful enough for taking decent night selfies. A video with a Eula phone, T1 smartphone, this is 1080p video and this is the maximum resolution this phone can shoot videos at. It is quite frustrating that the phone can shoot videos only at 1080p resolution. Well, a good thing is that the video looks quite decent and the continuous autofocus feature works quite well. A video with a Yola phone T1 smartphone. This is 1080p footage. Uh, I'm holding the phone in two hands, not using any civilization tools whatsoever. The 1080p selfie video looks quite good for a budget phone. The sound recording quality is above average. The loudspeaker quality does not impress, but it's pretty decent. The main complaint would be that the volume output is quite low.
The sound quality via the headset jack is pretty good too, I have no complaints. I didn't have any connectivity issues with this phone as the call quality and signal reception are pretty good and even the GPS lock speeds and accuracy are okay. The phone has quite a few sensors including a gyroscope so you will be able to use this device with VR headsets. The 3680mAh non-replaceable battery will let you use the phone for the entire day or more depending on your usage. I could achieve a pretty standard screen on time of about 5.5 hours, which is a decent result. What I noticed however is that the battery drains a little bit faster than usual on standby mode but keep in mind that I have installed a lot of apps. Finally, it takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge the phone with a supplied fast charger. The Eula Phone T1 is a great looking and very powerful phone. You can be rest assured that it will handle all the 3D games and the phone will be fast on a daily basis. However, the camera remains the weakest point of this device. Sure, it can take some decent pictures but there are better phones in this department. All in all, the Eula Phone T1 offers quite a lot of value but as always, make sure to consider a few shortcomings before buying it. It was Lionless, thanks for watching and as always guys if you liked the video please hit the like button and if you have any questions please drop me a comment down below. Also if you're new to the channel and if you like the videos that I produce please subscribe. Finally, if you want to get all the latest updates please follow HD on social media like on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you soon.